I'm just going to take a second and I'm going to load our video and our comments. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. I'll just give everyone a second to come in. All right. And I'm going to show you guys the new kit. I'm super excited. So I want to show you guys, basically, I have been, we've been in group now for, this is our fifth year, and we'll have our fifth year anniversary at the end of the year. So I just wanted to share that. And I have been using a... A notebook a very messy 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 notebook I've got pages missing I've got stuff everywhere I've got receipts from um, our swaps and send outs and things um, all stapled in here it's a mess so come December I'm a mess <laughs> so um, I've you tried using planners before and they've just never worked for me because um, they're they're not geared for um, for a creative. They're geared for more of like a personal um, goals, like dieting and how much water you're drinking in a day, and just things that just do not pertain to us as creatives. And I just found that I wasn't using them. Um, I keep track of like you know birthdays and doctor's appointments, but other than that, I wasn't using my planner. And even the one that I made um, back in 2015 or 16. Um, it was the same thing. It just wasn't, um, it wasn't pertaining to what we need. So in light of all of that, I decided to create a planner just specifically for artists, designers, makers, creators. So this is anybody running a Facebook group. This is anybody running a YouTube channel, anyone who does YouTube lives. So anyone who has to keep track of what content they want to put out, um, how to plan for that, um, how to... Um, you're going to make yourself lists, keep track of your happy mail. Like this is everything guys. So I'm going to flip through and show you exactly what's in here, how, and how to print it. So these pages here are what I have printed additionally for our planner to go together for a whole year. So essentially, and I've designed it, if you guys can see, we have a tab along each side and they're designed for you to, um, be able to cinch this or hole punch it without it interfering with um, with uh, your actual note. And that was another huge pet peeve of mine, um, getting a planner and having your spirals here on top of something where you're supposed to write. So that was a huge pet peeve of mine. And um, so I specifically made this so that we have a spot to cinch and it looks kind of pretty, but then it's functional and we have all of our room to write. So this is the additional that I've printed. Um, there's a stack here, guys. So this is the additional that I've printed. So we have this for 12 months. So I'm going to show you. But this is what I included. This is everything here included in the kit. There's 30 pages. So essentially, we're going to start our book with this. Our, two, our two, uh, 2024 Ultimate Planner for Artists, Designers, Makers, and Creators. I left it blank in terms of not throwing my name all over here because I want this to look nice for you guys too. Now what I did do um, for the next two pages, so this is actually page, uh, I believe, six or seven going in when you download the kit. This will be six or seven for this one here because the first five are your background sheets. So I'm going to show you guys five or six anyways so what I've done is so I've taken the background paper that I've actually created the kit on and I created it two different ways so I created it to go this way and I created it to go that way if you guys can see that so this is the side where your cinch line is so think of it in terms of a book right so you can double side print you can print this double sided so that you have it where um, you can um, have it continuously flow with there's no white papers right what I've decided to do is to glue mine off camera back to back so once I have this together they're going to be glued back to back just to give it some stability because I am going to be cinching this into a book so that's how I decided to do it but if you want to print this back to back I've literally designed this where you can go from from page one to 30 and print it back to back and everything's going to fit like this so it's going to fit like this or this is one way, and this is your next way. 
and then your one way and your next way and your one way and your next way. So that's how it's gonna gonna flow. So I've given it, you guys two background pages, and then what you could do too is print it, not have anything on the back, and you might decide that you want to put these two pages on the back sides of each one. So have have your two like that. You flip it over your next two, your next two, and then have the next page here. So you could decide to do that. Um, so there's so many different ways that you can put this together. So I've kind of given you guys a lot of freedom with that. So um, that's what these two are. I'm going to be using one of these as my back page. So this is going to be the front of the book, and this is going to be the back. So I'm going to do that. So essentially for me, these two pages are going to be laminated. Okay, so I just wanted to show that. My front and my back are going to be laminated, cinched, and the rest of it's going to be cinched in between. So that's how I'm going to um, to do this. So anyways, I'm going to go right through. Okay, so we have our two pages here. Uh, one is the right-hand side and the left-hand side, like that. Okay. The next one. Sorry, guys, I have this out of... Um, yeah. This is our next page right here. Okay, so I have a 2024 calendar. So this is our next page. Our 2024 calendar. So I have it printed out from January to December. So it just gives you a quick a quick view of your calendar. So essentially when I go to, um, just want to show you guys. When I go to print this, I'm going to put the, uh, the ultimate planner here. And this is going to be my back side of that. So this whole thing is going to be laminated. So I just wanted to share that. So I have our 2024 calendar and then guys, passwords. I am constantly forgetting my passwords. So I'm super excited and I think it's great that we finally have a spot to put them all down. So that could be anything from Facebook to Google to, um, I don't know guys, I have a Microsoft account, I have four emails, I have Yahoo, I have Hotmail, I have Outlook, well, Outlook is now Hotmail, and then I have Microsoft. So there you go, there's my email, I'm gonna have my email, my passwords, my Google, my password, so I don't have to like keep, you know, resetting my passwords for things, all the places, maybe the places that I shop and the passwords to get in there. So, you know, I find every time, and I do guys, I switch my phones up every two years, so I find it to be an absolute nightmare when I go to switch my phones over and I don't know my passwords to anything and I have to spend a day resetting all my passwords just to get everything to, to go over to the next device. So this is gonna save me a lot of time. So, yep, we have a little password list here. So that's gonna be super fun. So that's the next page, but um, how I've, designed this is the background pages are going first um, when you print the kit. So then these are the neutral pages that I haven't really put in anywhere. And then we have two pages of notes that I've done. So these again, they get cinched in like this. This is the cinch side and the cinch side like this. So we have a whole page of just lined for notes and these can go in anywhere. So I wanted this to be very versatile so you can customize this to fit you. You can customize this to fit um, how you want to organize and plan your gear. So these are like that. Now, these two pages are very special, and I wanted to share this. So I have something very specific in mind for these two, these two here. And I don't know about you guys, but I love a list. I love, love, love a list. So I have one that says this week. And this one here is Monday through Sunday and a weekly checklist. So what I want to do with this, I'm going to laminate this. I'm going to cut this out all along here. And I'm going to use this as a little base. And it's going to be laminated. And I'm going to use a dry erase marker and I'm going to make myself lists. So I do not have to print 52 of these. Because 52 of these is a lot of space. Um, right? For 52 week, weeks out of our year. I'm going to have one. It's going to be a checklist. And at the end of my week, I can take a baby wipe to it, wipe it down, erase it, and write it back for the next week. So by eliminating it, I'm turning it into almost like a little dry erase board for myself. And also the same thing with this one. And this is for 52 weeks. And this one is for uh, 365 days. So you don't have to use it every day. You use it on the day that you want to remember stuff. So this is literally saving me 365 prints for each day and 52 weeks for 
um, for this. So I'm going to do the same thing, guys. I'm going to cut out my cute little tabbed. That's why I did this. I made a cute little tabbed um, thing. It can stick out of my book, stick up, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is my daily checklist to remember and my daily checklist. And same thing, guys, dry erase marker, and we can make ourselves a little list, things that I want to remember for the week, for the day, and um, a daily checklist so I know. Um, and I can keep these handy, both inside the planner and out. And I'm going to show you some different methods of how to mount this in your book. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We can move it around with a paper clip, or we can actually mount it with um, like the, like the, uh, the sticky dots that, the, that, are like, that are not Velcro, but like Velcro. I'll just leave it at that. I'll show you guys what I mean. And I'm going to laminate these. So again, two pieces of paper opposed to um, 365 and 52. So I find that to be a bulk of a planner, and I don't like that. Because then I find you're flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping to get to your day. I don't want to flip to get to my day. I want my day right in front of me, and I can move these around to my month. So that's what I'm super excited about. We can, t yes, retainer dots. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> that's what they are, retainer dots, and you pull it off and you stick it back down. So I have two of these, and those are going to be laminated along with the first two for there. Okay, so moving on. So again, we have this page, which is here, this, this one here to go to the back of this. But, um, so these are our extras. So I have these two pages here. Okay. I have our two page. So these are our pretty ones that we can add in anywhere we want. I'm going to use them as my back cover. We have two pages of notes, one for either side. And then we have our weekly and our daily checklists. And then the next one, which would go specifically here next in line. I have an email list. So this is the place where we can keep track of all of our important emails. I could use this to keep track of my design team members to email them kits. I could keep this for, um, uh, you could, anything. Anything, guys. I could turn this, and I put email list. You don't have to use it as an email list. You could turn it to an address list if you wanted to. Keep track of all your favorite people to send to. So there's so many things we can do. So that's the next page. Yeah, I'm just, sorry, guys. Uh, getting confused. Yeah. And I've already gone through these. Okay. Next. We have a 2024 project list and that's going to be big. So then I decided to make two of them and have them go in there side by side when we're cinching it. Um, and you can also hole punch this and put it in a duotang if you want to. Um, so here we go. We have our 2024 project list. So this is just basically a place to dump all your ideas and, and any and for the entire year of all the things that you want to do. And then you can make heads or tails of this and put it into the monthly calendar, which is next. So this is kind of like for you to rough idea um, the different things that you want to do and make yourself like a little list list or a checklist. And that's a great thing too, guys. If you can see, I grid patterned this and it has this tiny, um, these tiny little little check boxes in here too. So it's not just lined, it's little check boxes. If you guys, there we go, we can see that now. So you can use it like, it's like a graph paper. So you can write there, you can use it as like little check boxes, you can do whatever you like. So your list could be anything really, and that's for a project list. So I left that as a project list, so there's two pages of that. Then we go into our calendar. So I have them exactly like this, because we're going to plan this now month to month. Hi, staff. Thanks for joining. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm just rattling on, and I haven't said hi to everyone, so I'll take a second and do that. Hi, Nancy Lynn. Hi, Kim, Becky, Wendy. We've got Judith, Joy, Kim, Joanne, Judy, Lori, Paula, Tammy, Cindy, staff in the house. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm super excited about this. That's why I've just been rattling on. <laughs> okay. So we've got 12 calendars that I've done. So the top is just a generic week. So I've broken this down to week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, all the way till our 52 weeks are done in the year. So you can plan it like that. You can go week one, we're doing this. Week two, we're doing this. Week three, we're doing this. And this gives you each month a quick, and it's like that for all of them. And then it goes from five, yeah, all the way down. So and the same week, right? Five. So this is your fifth week here, which continues from here. See, so where, where it has, um, I hope you guys can see that. Good. Yeah. So 
your week five goes from the 31st of January to um, the first, second, and third over here, and then continues to week six, seven, eight, nine. So this is just kind of like a guide, but this is where you have your own personal little calendar. And I've left it completely blank, guys. The only thing that it has on here is Sunday through Saturday. Because unfortunately, that was a template. I would prefer it Monday to Sunday. I might change that in the next one, just spend more time on that. But I just used their template, which was Sunday uh, to Saturday. So I have had this um, completely um, um, blank for you. So all you have to do is put in your date in the corner, and then you can make a list of what's going on that day. So you can you can use this part to... Um, to make notes or whatever you want if you've got something really important like so whatever your day is like say um we have a new a new thing that's going to happen on mondays i'm going to be making a tag uh, like a bingo card and i'm going to be calling um numbers so mondays are going to be um our our bingo day so our mixed media bingo so i can um write that on here we're doing mixed media bingo on monday and so, like, just to give you an example of whatever um, event or things that you have going on. Okay, so all of them are like this on the exact same um, printed portion. And I have 12 of these, one for each month. So essentially, when we put this together, we're going to be looking at what each of the months looks like. So um, it would start with, obviously, our calendar. And then that's why it's kind of blank from here. And then all these other pages, aside from these, go in between them. So I just wanted to show that. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, sorry guys, October, November, and December. Okay. So then all these next pages, so we're good to hear. Now we're in the monthly. So all of these pages here and including the notes at the top, okay? These two pages of notes right here is what I'm talking about, guys, the notes, okay? Because those are like an additional two. So the notes... And all these pages going forward from here, I printed once. So you're going to want to print these another 11 times. So that's what I have here. So that I can take one calendar, okay, and one sheet of each. So this is what a month is going to look like from here on out, okay? So for just, um, oops, that wouldn't be December. Whoops, sorry guys. We'll start with January. So when you print one of these 11, 11 more times, you're going to get a sack like this, okay? So we have deadlines. Now, I've done these in two ways. So they go together, okay? So we have, this is, again, for anyone designing, anyone creating, anyone making art, anyone making products. Okay, the first one is product deadlines, so this is anything that you're creating, like a product. And that could be a kit on Etsy. That could be anything. Um, you don't have to use my, this is just my guide. You don't have to use this. I've included a blank one, and you'll see that next. So um, for this is just for what is going to work with um, my life, okay? Um, and you can use mine, or you can make your own, and I'll show you that. So I've got product deadlines, YouTube videos, Etsy shop sales, monthly shopping supply list. So I can list of what I want to purchase. Um, group events and group challenges, Facebook Lives, group swaps and personal swaps, and Happy Mail. So then you can keep track of what's going in and what's going out. So I can do that here. So if I make a journal, I can remember, oh yeah, I sent that to this person. and Oh, I sent her Happy Mail, but what did I send her? And so I do that. I forget what I've sent people. So then I can make myself a little note of, hey, I remember exactly because I wrote it down. So anyways... Um, so these two go together um, like that. Okay. My product deadlines. Actually, no, it would be, um, see, I printed them like this. So these go together actually like this because they're cinched on the other side. So it would actually go like that and like this. Okay. All right. 
Then we have, so that's our deadlines. And then I have a spot here, which is two. And they go like this and like this. Okay. And this one's project idea, project ideas. So this is where we can write down all kinds of stuff that we have in terms of for the month of ideas that we have for our projects or um, a tutorial to be anything. And then I have created a blank list, like I mentioned. Now, this, oh, and then I wanted to mention too, the deadline one, when we go back and the ones that I just mentioned there with the deadlines, you can write each month here. So I didn't print that out for you, so I might not have deadlines one month. So if I decided that, hey, I'm taking a month off or I'm not going to have deadlines, then you don't have to print that for that month. So you just write in whatever month it is, if, if that's what you want to write there. It could be project deadlines. It could be anything your deadlines for whatever you need to get done. So yeah, that's how I left that blank. And then these are a blank version, so you can create your own. So if I have in there something that you don't like or something that doesn't pertain to you, you can then turn around and make this your own. So you could do this too and make this a personal planner. So if you're not a designer or creative and you don't want to use it for that, you don't have to. Um, I've made this very customizable, so you can, um, Oh yeah, exactly, Tammy. Your husband's deadlines or your family's or your family's thing, like your kid's doctor's appointments, anything. You can, your husband's doctor's appointments, you could use this for anything or anything that you want to keep track of. And it's the same thing. It's a little grid, that grid, um, uh, that grid line sort of thing. So you can make it a checklist or you can make it like a bullet sort of, sort of journaling or you can, um, write a list or a checklist. So it just gives you options and they're all blank and you write your own. So again, if you don't like mine, there's that one. And then I have a super fun little um, uh, printout here, um, Monday through Sunday, big and small, some little things. You can make altered paper clips out of some of these uh, tabs. We need to have tabs in our book because they'll come off the side of our page. And um, these cute little cards, they could be like altered paper clips. You could put these together and clip them across your page to remember something like and to mark today. So I kind of included these guys to make it blank for you. So you can, you know, do our junk journaling thing and make yourself a cute little, that's what I'm going to do with these, a cute little cluster thing. And, and you know, use some of the elements here and, and make myself a little spot where, hey, that's where I'm clipping in my today mark. So I'm making myself like a little bookmark for today. And then I can have little tabs hanging off the side of my the side of my um my book to mark what things are. And then these are little book plates. So if I decided that hey I wanted a cute little book plate on a page or something, um I can I can do that. Or I wanted to like put it like as a tab on one of my pages, I can do that too. So it's super fun, right? And I feel like this is going to really help me get organized. So I'm excited to be able to share it with all of you too. So what I am going to do, um, I'm going to leave this as this today. So I wanted to share, if you don't have a laminator, this is super fun guys, because for years I didn't. If you don't have a laminator and you don't want the expense of buying a laminator, if you go to the dollar store for $1.25, it might be a little bit more now, it might be like two or three bucks now, but back in the day it was buck twenty-five, And these are um, a vinyl self a removable self-adhesive vinyl. So this is like a protector. It's clear. And it's like for books. If you guys can see, it's like a book uh, for like a book cover. So anyways, you can create your own laminated um, vinyl surface. And all you do is just um, cut this to size. So you'd cut this to size for your, um, your page. And you put it down. And then you stick it down and then pull it right, up, right from the bottom and up across and you use a tool that's like, um, where is it guys, sorry, like a, my Cricut uh, vinyl tool. Um, my room's in such disarray guys since Christmas, I'm so sorry. My stuff's everywhere. Um, it should be right here because I know I've used it. I've used it quite a bit actually. 
for laying, oh, there it is. It's just in this other container way over there, no man's land. Okay. Um, yeah, my Cricut vinyl one. So you just kind of do one of these and get your air bubbles out as you go. And then you'll have this perfectly good thing that's laminated. So I just wanted to share that. So that is um, a really great option if you don't have a laminator and you don't want to spend, I, I think it's around $40, $50 in Canada for a laminator. I have the Scotch one and I bought mine at Walmart, but I think I got mine on sale for like 20 bucks. So I just wanted to share that. So you can laminate them, but you don't have to. You could glue your two pages together like I'm going to do, and then instead of laminating it, use um, something like this. This is from Studio, and it's the... Um, a book or maps or documents protector. It's a removable self adhesive vinyl and it's on like um, a transfer sheet. So I just wanted to share that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that, guys. And then I've ordered a cinch. And you don't need to use that if you don't want to either. You can always, um, you can always uh, hole punch this, put it into a binder, or you can put it into a duotang. So I just wanted to share that. There's so many options. So I'm just waiting for my cinch to come in, and I'm going to laminate those two pages. But um, before I laminate it, I'll have to fill out my passwords list. So I'm just going to cover that with a um, with a piece of paper when we're live, so you guys can't see all my passwords to everything. And um, I will um, we'll cinch the book together. So we'll do that. And um, once that comes in, but I will have the front and back pre-laminated and my passwords put on that, that piece. And again, those two amazing lists um, that we're going to turn into dry erase boards. Yeah, this one, the weekly, and the today. Today, yeah, and weekly. I'm also going to laminate these. So that's going to be super fun. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. And um, this is now in my shop for ten dollars Canadian so if you like it go ahead and um, pick it up and um, I compress all my files with 7-zip so if you install 7-zip to your computer they will all unzip all my files all right guys thank you so much and I will be back this week with some more tutorials all right you guys have a great weekend and I'll be back soon thanks everyone bye